Hi YouTube, this is Chris Sao and today I'll be doing a gameplay video of me rushing through Yellow Zone Tier 5 Dungeon using my Great X build or what I like to call my uh, AoE survival build. Yes, it's a survival build. Okay, uh, because uh, it has my favorite uh, Blood Lush uh, skill. Yeah, and it's a AoE one because uh, all my skills, uh, all my offensive skills, I would say, of the Great Axe are all the AoE uh, versions. Yeah. So including the uh, my the yeah, latest addition into the family, the Aging Blades. Yeah, there. Okay. This is it. Uh, basically, this is the Beyblade Blade. <laughs> yeah, I always call it the Beyblade Blade because. See? Spinning, 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 spinning. It's just like the Beyblades. Alright. Okay, so let's see how fast I can uh, clear this uh, tier 5 dungeon. Uh, I'll be going after every single mob. Yeah, just to have a feel of uh, how fast uh, does, does it take. Okay, I have a little bit of slight advantage here because I'm actually using a tier 6 uh, Great Axe. Okay, uh, so uh, as this is a tier 5 uh, tangent, so using a tier 6 uh, Great X, you have, I would believe, a slight advantage, definitely. Yeah, but uh, having said that, yeah, I still can get uh, knocked out by the mobs. <laughs> okay, not taking any chances. Uh. Okay. So this is the yellow zone. I'm not going into the red zone for the time being because of uh, there's a lot of gankers around. Yeah. So I'll be doing in the uh, yellow zone. Hope you guys don't mind. Okay, let's go as fast as we can. Two minutes down. Okay. okay my one the last is out. Okay. I I don't know. I will recommend uh, people who are more like me, uh, to the AOE type, to actually have uh, the this great uh, build. Uh, this great X, I would say great X as a whole, isn't really bad. Yeah, I would say. In fact, uh, I will re I will recommend it if you want to really rush through dungeons solo, of course. Yep. But of course, uh, if you are the PVE type, then I'm not too sure about great X though. Yeah, it is. And, and the build that I'm using right, is actually more on survival. Yeah, I have a blood lash on and things like that. So for those of you who, who like a little bit more offensive, yeah, this may not be the build for you. Yeah, I like it because uh, I can survive. Yeah, basically, survivability is almost uh, it's, it's very, 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 very high. Yeah, it's almost quite impossible to get killed. Lah. But uh, like I said, there's no guarantee always. You just have to be very 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 careful. Yeah, but having the blood lash uh skill sets together with the AOE of the uh red X, yeah, it, it does increase the survivability. Okay, let me show you why. Okay, so lay me on my blood lash now. Okay. So let me regain back some health. Uh see. It's it's quite impossible to eh? Oh, there's still one small dominion here. No wonder. It's quite impossible to die, lah, I would say. But having said that, uh, this is only in the yellow zone. Okay, If you go into the red zones, uh, I won't be using my higher tiers uh, gear. I'll be using the lower tier ones. So in terms of item power, it's a bit lower. So, uh, I mean, you still have a good chance of surviving. I won't say it's, it's totally... Uh, uh, can't survive at all. Yeah, but you just need to know how to play. Yeah, you need to know when to use the various skills and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure. Okay. Okay, time to cast Blood Lush again. Let's see. Yeah, 
See, with the blood rush, with the whirlwind and raging blades, it's perfect. Alright, that's all. Come, let's go, go, go. On the lash, on. Energy shield on. Whirlwind. Okay, let's go. Get all the mouse here. Rats here, sorry. Yeah, not mouse. Get the uglier version. <laughs> Yeah, I consider mouse the the cuter version. Yeah, anything that is not cute, they will consider it as rats. Okay. Five minutes, six minutes down. My idea is whenever I get uh, ambushed or you know surrounded by mobs, I will use my blood rush. Yeah, just in case you never know someone may do something crazy. And then uh, at least expect it. You guys just have to know that uh, this survival build, right? Okay, this AOE survival build isn't really built for for damage. Yeah. Okay. That's why it, 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 it really have to you have to survive through la. <laughs> It's really the meant to for survival so that uh, you can actually uh, deal more damage. Yeah, over time, over time. Yeah, that's the right word. Alright, let's go. Ah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, the boss is here. Make sure always clear the minions first. The golden rule. Clean dungeon. Okay. You don't want any disturbance or interference when you are engaging the bobs. The boss, sorry. Alright, let's go for the boss now. I would say this this boss is a relatively easy one. It's just a kind of irritating to kill it, yeah. Because it hits summoning minions. Uh. This is quite harmless, I would say. Yes. Yeah. And also because uh, I'm at the tier six uh, X, so yeah, I'm the one who is having the advantage here, not him. So it's a little bit easier for me, I would say. So if those of you who are going in with a lower tier uh, weapon, yeah, then uh, yeah. I don't know. You can comment below <laughs> to see how does it go. Okay, let me show you my build uh, right after I. Okay, now that I cleared, uh, I can show you my build. Just give me a while. Okay, not bad. Some quite interesting dudes. All right, so I think that's it for the dungeon. Total about nine minutes, eleven seconds. Okay, uh, so let's let's take a look at my build first. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm using the tier six uh, great axe. So yeah, all the skills here are the AOE ones, as you can see. Yeah, these are all the AOEs ones, except for this one, of course. Okay. And of course, uh, my favorite uh, armor, which is the machinery uh, jacket. I'm using the tier 7 one. Even greater advantage again. So don't call me a cheater, please. <laughs> okay, so my favorite blood lash. And I'm using uh, reduced cooldown for the skills. Okay. Armor, uh, the helm, I'm also using the Scholar Crow, so tier 7 as well, another advantage, okay. 
So using the energy shield as always because of the uh, lack of mana replenishment. Then using aggression as a passive. Okay, boots, favorite wanderlust. Yeah, then uh, toughness. Alright. I've not tried uh, the rest of the passive skill because I don't really think uh, that's useful for me. But uh, if you think that uh, you have used uh, soldier boots and you try the other passive, uh, do let me know. I will try them out. Okay, Kate. I'm now. I'm just totally into Demon Cape now. Okay, I'm totally into it. Okay, no other capes will be better than Demon Cape. <laughs> in my in my in my sense, lah. Okay, of course this is only uh for PVE. Yeah, if you're going for PVP, then I think there's a lot more experts out there. Okay, those uh, experienced uh players there, they will definitely tell you what are the uh capes or what or even even more specific, what are the builds uh, that you will need. Okay. Yeah, I still carry on, uh, sorry, I still carry in my soup, yeah, okay, as well as my uh, healing potion, though I rarely use them now, okay, in fact, there's no no need to, yeah, because of the uh, advantage I'm having, as well as the uh, blood lush that uh, has, uh, that was in the machinery jacket, okay, that's why I say this is really a survival build. Okay, if you can survive the attacks deal on you by the mobs or even the bosses or even other players, I, you know, in my sense, I strongly think that if you can survive them, then means that you have a chance to deal damage, and that means that you have a chance to actually win them or even kill them. All right, all right. So I think this is uh my very short uh video of me uh rushing through the yellow zone tier five dungeon uh, using the. Great X uh, build or my or like, uh, like what I say the AOE survival build. All right. So if you like this video, please uh, click the like button and do comment. Yeah, uh, what do you think about the video? Or if you have any comment about the build that I'm using, yeah, etc. etc. Uh, please comment below and I will reply to them. And if you have not subscribed uh, to my channel, uh, please click the subscribe button as well as the small little bell button next to it. So that uh, you'll be notified should there be any uh, new videos from me. Alright, so I think that's it for this video. So uh, everyone, please stay safe. I will see you in my next video. Alright, great. Chris out.